Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. It's a great time to be alive. And, uh, you know, we're still seeing that the markets are going down, dee -dee -dee -dee, down, down. And I know a lot of you are really concerned. You know, we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is now sub $45,000 in the house. And a lot of you are really concerned that, uh, you know, this is it. That's it. We're going down. The bull run is over. Well, I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that I am a certain, I am certain in the house that we're going to be seeing crypto going up and this is just a fake out guys this is just itty bitty fake out guys and all of you out there who believe that the crypto bull run is over you all get a red card guys you got served you have been served with a red card in the house guys the bull run is not over this is a little bit of a fake out and this has all been stimulated by two knuckleheads in the uh, you know in, in you know in the Federal Reserve Department two low level ranking knuckleheads who came out and made some comments about inflation is going nuts but guys and gals we all know that we all know inflation is insane in the membrane guys so remember this is not financial advice this is just an OG in the house expressing opinion this is only for educational purposes only so get ready to go down the crypto rabbit hole with the OG the Ric Flair whoo of crypto in the house I was ice baby guys ice ice baby i am certain that this is not the end that the bull run is going to be coming in we got some interesting stuff about uh, the bitcoin miami conference that's coming up also some interesting stuff about dogecoin dogecoin is still outperforming it's still outperforming most of the market right now so that is pretty cool beans so dogecoin to the moon guys you know that dogecoin coin is going to be I can smell the rocket fuel, guys. Can you smell the rocket fuel? And we got the alien in the house. We got the alien in the house. And, you know, we got the huge Debbie Donna Bear. Get out of there, Debbie Donna Bear. We don't want the Debbie Donna Bear. So, you know, f but seriously, on a, on a serious note, I'm getting serious now. On a serious note, guys, don't panic. Uh, you know, have diamond hands, dollar cost average, and uh, you know this is a great time to be buying up the bitty guys, buying up the uh, buying up Bitcoin like crazy guys. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Booyah, baby. Let's get into it, guys. So we're seeing that right now. The uh, the broader markets are. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got to say about the broader markets. They're down. Like we're talking, they're way down. They're like down. You know, broader markets, get one of these. The huge red card. Huge red card for the broader markets, guys. That's what I'm talking about. We're seeing that the Dow is down 1%. We're seeing that the uh, S&P is down 1.39%. And we're seeing that, uh, you know, the NASI, the NASI, the NASI is down all, already at 2.53%. So that's not going to help crypto. Guys, get ready. Get your sunblock on, guys. Get, get absolutely get your sunblock because we're going to see we're going to see absolutely the uh, the heat map in the house, and you know that's going to be red like crazy. And you know the OG. I got to get my sunglasses on. I got to get the sunglasses on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, that's bright. The heat map. I got the sunglasses on. OG got the sunglasses on. So right now we're seeing that the Bitcoin is uh, down 5.16 percent. Ha 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 ha! Help me, Lord! <laughs> You're down 5.16 percent. We're seeing Ethereum is down almost 7 percent. We're seeing a lot of carnage out there. I need the sunglasses because. I can't stand the heat. I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. I'm getting sunburned, guys. So you're seeing that you know the whole the whole market is down, diddy diddy down down. And this is a huge fake out. It's absolutely a huge fake out. I mean, could we could we even be seeing that Biddy is going to be going down to forty three thousand and some change? It could, guys. But I'm absolutely not. Uh, I'm not worried about it in house, guys. So this is just coming in from Twitter. Uh, this is from the. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. This is from the Bitcoin conference in the house. And, uh, you know, you basically they got this screen. And if you walk up to it, you get the laser eyes, guys. So I just thought this is kind of cool and wacky in the house, guys. So this is a Bitcoin conference going live, guys. So you see that you can see the guy right here. He's walking up to it. And he's also got the laser eyes, guys. So, you know, and I remember last time that we had the BD conference, too, and it opened uh, the cryptocurrencies also tankity tank tank, too. So maybe we should stop having these conferences. So I don't know, you're tanking the crypto, you're tanking the crypto. So this is a rainbow chart right now. And right now we're still in the still cheap phase. So I think that, you know, it's going to be a, this is a huge time to be buying the dippy dip, dip dips, buying the dips because we're seeing the crypto is going down, dee 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 down. Where's OG? Where's OG? Uh, it's gone. Oh, you just got the Debbie Dollar Bar. Wait. So. I, yeah, I'm the Debbie Dollar Bear, and uh, I'm just going to tell you right now that uh, crypto sucks right now. No. Hey, what are you doing? So crypto is really sucks right now, and uh, it's not it's not good. It's not good in the house. So, uh, yeah, you know, you may need, uh, if you're going to be looking at any charts, you know, if it's a red chart, you need the sunglasses on. Yeah, you're cool. Get it. So, yeah, I still think that the... Uh, 
Oh, silliness aside, <laughs> oh, silliness aside, I still think it's a great time to be buying crypto right now because, you know, booyah, baby, we're going to be seeing that crypto is going to be going up to, you know, 100,000, Bitcoin is going to be going up to 100,000, we're going to see $6,000 for Ethereum coming in, we're going to be seeing, you know, the Doja Wojer getting to 37, 69 cents by the summertime, it's going to happen, guys, uh, and so I wouldn't panic too much in the house. Uh, we're seeing right now the top 10 mentioned coins on Twitter, you can see that Bitcoin is number one followed by Dogecoin Cardano. So I don't know what happened, but suddenly people are just going nuts back into uh, Doge. And remember, it was around this time last year where Doge hit an all-time high. I mean, it doesn't feel like it right now. You know, it's like, oh, Doge, 18 cents yesterday, and now Doge has dropped out another. So, you know, let's take a look. So for the price of Dogecoin right now, we're seeing that uh, Dogecoin right now has uh, dropped below. Uh, let me get this. Let me clean up this chart. Clean up the chart. We're seeing that the Dogecoin has taken a huge dumpity dump dump and it's at 1488. Let's take a look at that on the daily. See what's going on with the daily. Let's see what's going on the daily with the Doge. Where's your? So let me clean up that chart as well. Let's get that up there. Get it up there. Get it up there. There we go. Ah. So we're seeing right now that the Doge Wojer is taking a huge dump dump. So yesterday we did see a high of like almost 18, 17, 90. And you know we've gone down. Uh, you know we've gone down 17 percent. <laughs> 17 percent. Uh, where's my sunglasses? I can't stand the heat. I can't stand the heat. <laughs> 17 percent. So that is a, that, that's from yesterday's high. It's gone down 17 percent. But today, you know, we were we were like uh, we were at like 17.41. We've dropped all the way down. So today, the Doja Warrior is also looking looking pretty pitiful in the house. <laughs> wow. 14% dump, dee dump, down, dee dee, da, 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 da. So I think maybe the, 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 the OG's out, I'm taking over. Take it over, take it over the video, take it over the video, because it's just Debbie Downer Day. Yeah, it's just, it just sucks right now. I mean, you know, and if we look at the, if we look at the, the into the blocks for the Dogecoin right now, we can see, let me get this a uh, minty refresh. Ah, those coins, what happened? We were at 18 cents yesterday and now we are at 14.88. What happened, Doge? So we're seeing Doge is like down 9.15%. And, uh, you know, 50, but 57% of all the Dogecoin holders are still in the money. Still in the money. Get out of there. And uh, we're seeing that the, the amount of uh, people out of money right now is only 35 cents. So it's not too bad. But you, guys, look. You see here the summary, the signal summary, it's mainly neutral, guys, and that is a good indicator. So you can see that, you know, if you look at the if you, if you look at the smart price, we're bullish. We look at the ask the ball and we're pretty bullish, guys, in the house. So that is pretty cool beans in the house. And you know, we're seeing that Dogecoin continues to outperform Bitcoin. And Dogecoin is, you know, in terms of in terms of loss and gains, that uh, Dogecoin is actually ripping apart uh, the uh, Bitcoin right now. We can see that right here, guys. I'm not making this up. We can see that uh, in the last 24 hours, uh, you know, 24 hour, uh, against Bitcoin, it's up 10%. Against Ethereum, it's up 12%. Seven days, 14%. 30 days, 36.2%. So Dogecoin is, is do not doing too bad right now. And the Doge factors, the Doge factors in the house, we're seeing Doge was almost... Uh, you know, was the most discussed coin on Twitter, guys. And that's true. That is true means Doge is becoming the most uh, discussed Doge, the most discussed coin on Twitter. Get yours right, OG. And could you imagine, can you imagine now that, you know, uh, as of uh, Tuesday, uh, the announcement came out that Elon Musk is now uh, on the board. He owns 9.2%. And I believe that, you know, once we get the Doge tip jar, Doge Woj is going to go <sighs> to the moon, guys. And it's going to get there. Don't forget, we got the uh, Doge X that's coming. I mean, you know, that's supposed to be coming June 1st, guys. It's supposed to be actually coming June 1st. So just think about it. Step back, think about it. We got Elon Musk buys Twitter. Takes 9.2%. We got Elon Musk on the board. We got Dogecoin tipping jar being talked about, about the community. And what do you think? I think, Do I think Elon's going to pull the trigger on that. He, he can pull the trigger because we got Ethereum. And we've got uh, we've got uh, Patreon, right? And we've got Bitcoin already uh, as a, a tipping option. So why not the Doge, guys? Why not the Doge? So this is going to be huge, huge, huge. And when this comes, bang, Doge is going to go to the moon. So it looks like CoinGlass data showed that uh, 17.07 million worth of Doge futures were liquidated. So we're seeing a lot of the a lot of Doge Wojers, uh, a lot of Doge Wojers have been liquidated. So right now we're seeing almost 400 million dollars worth of leverage apes out there and look at that guys 134,000 trade I never I've never seen this 
large amount of wrecked traders out there. But guys and girls, I am certain that the bull run is not over. I am certain that things are going to be going up and up, up, boop, 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 boop. And uh, you can see, like, guys, look at this. OMG, look at that. $21.87 million. Where the dollars have been liquidated, guys? And you can see all the leverage apes. They're still taking long positions on the hourly. The, the, you know, uh, we're still seeking that uh, 24 hours. I mean, what is going on? Why are the leverage traders not trying to, you know, take short positions on the crypto because that's what we need because that's going to take uh, the, the Dogecoin uh, price and the Bitcoin price up, pretty up, up, guys. So that's what we need. That's absolutely what we need. Uh, so also coming in right now, we got also see that, you know, with the news of Elon Musk buying 9.2% of uh, Twitter, uh, Doge recorded today the highest perpetual swaps in the history, in the history. It was almost 17.39 combined over the past three days. And, you know, and that has traded a perpetual source versus 22 billion in all the month of March. So you can see that, wow, the combined perpetual swaps for Doge, people are just going nuts. And people are going to get wrecked, guys. People are going to get wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. So don't let her try, guys. And this also come in. So let's see if we can hold 44.2 holds for Bitcoin. So this is a pretty serious level that we need to hold for the bitty. And uh, you can see right here that on the weekly, uh, this is the 42, the 42 zone here, and that's around there. So remember, this was the horizontal box that we were like stuck in for such a long time, guys. It was a headache. So, you know, let's hope that was, let's hope that sticks, guys. Uh, let's, and also too, we have this 44, right now Bitcoin is at 44,134. So what Matthew Hayward is saying is we need to stick above the 44.2 level. And that is a pretty serious level that we need to stick to. And if not, we could see that Bitcoin, uh, if it if it fails to hold this level and it has failed to hold this level right now and we're at 44092 so probably most likely we're going to see bitcoin go down to 42,200 in the house boom but guys i'm certain i'm absolutely certain that the bull run is not over guys so buckle up guys get ready because it's going to be an elevator ride going down dd dd down, down down guys if you're still watching and you're loving the channel please comment tell me what you think about the info tell me tell me what you think about the content don't forget to go boop that like boop that like Boop it, boop it, boop it. So, guys, show me some boopy, boopiness out there and boop the likes, smash the likes, show some love. So, we're seeing that, you know, right now we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is at uh, 41, uh, 4,400 and 44,100. And, you know, on our on the daily, it's still looking pretty good, guys. And, uh, you know, getting back to weekly, we, are, we have just dropped below the 21 day EMA. Ouch, 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 ouch. So, if uh, we're just, we're just like at the 21 day EMA right now. So, the candle has just like right there the 21 day EMA and uh, if we slip below the 21 day, day EMA then Bitcoin is going to take a huge dump down to the 42,000 area guys so you know we need to stay above the the, the the 21 day EMA to confirm a bullish rise to the upside so that's not happening right now so that is a Debbie Downer uh, Ethereum is also taking a huge hit right now uh, you know, compared to where it was yesterday, it was just at, it was at 3,500 bucks. Uh, it's gone down 8%, so that is not too good in the house. We're seeing that Luna, the tuna, is also taking probably, I would imagine, it's probably about an 8% hit as well. So Luna, the tuna, 8%. So it's basically in line with what everybody else is doing. We're seeing that uh, also the Phantom, uh, Phantom in house is at uh, $1.34. And we have slipped below, we have slipped below the 135 support level. So that's not looking pretty good. And we've seen that in the last 24 hours, we're also seeing that uh, Luna Tuna has gone down 14%. So that is nasty in the house. And right now we're also seeing that uh, Right now, we're also seeing that Solana is also down 100. It's at 118.75, and that is down, did 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 down, down as well. And also, we're seeing that uh, wow, well, woo, woo, it looks like uh, you know we are just we went down to a buck. So guys, if you're able to ape into 88 at a buck, because we did we did hit a low of uh, we did hit a low of like uh, you know like like almost a buck guys so if you're able to ape into 88 that would be huge beans guys so let's take a look at the market cap it's going to be huge scary guys we're still above two trillion so that is a good place to be absolutely good place to be and the total volume right now is uh 86.34 in the house guys and uh, bitcoin dollars is starting to come back up again and that is not good so let's take a look at the total carnage in the house so uh, we're gonna i'm gonna need my sunglasses for all this red so ooh, look at the carnage guys so we're seeing right now that bitcoin is down 4.3 percent at 44.21 we're seeing Ethereum is down 6%. Ah. 
large. And uh, that is at 32.51. We're seeing BNB is also down 5.37%. We're seeing a lot of carnage. We're seeing a lot of a lot of blood in the streets right now. And we're seeing that also Luna Tuna is down 6%. <laughs> Luna Tuna. We're seeing the Solana is down 9.52%. Oh, and the Debbie Donna Bear is just jumping for joy. Jumping for joy because the Debbie Donna Bear is sitting on my shoulder. And he's jumping for joy. And we got ADA is down 6.77%. We're seeing uh, Avalanche is also down almost 10%. The Dottie Watt Watt is down 8.46%. And the Doja Warrior is down 5% right now. So that is not too shabby compared to a lot of the other uh, altcoins out there. Get out of there. And uh, wow, there's a lot of carnage out there. I, so guys and gals, that brings that video to an end. Wow, that was hot. Hot, 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 hot. So guys, don't forget to go and follow me on my Twitter, guys. We've got 4,243 followers. Booyah, baby. Don't forget to go boop the likes, subscribe, you YB, and super chats in the live stream would be much appreciated. Remember, all the merch, all the super chats, all the memberships, guys, go to charity in the house. So show some love, show some love. Absolutely show some love, show some support, guys and gals. And don't forget to uh, check out the linkies. Check out the linkies. I got a link, link. Get the that one. Get that, get that. We got to become a Patreon member, buy the channel of coffee. Check out the NFT collection as well, guys. Actually, check out the NFT collection right there. You're gonna love it. And you know, one final thing, I, I'm, I gotta be, I gotta be, I gotta be told my own. I gotta be told in the merch, guys. So merch up, gear up. We got hats, we got hoodies, we got backpacks, and all sorts of. Get the mug, the mug, guys. The mug, the mug is absolutely fantastical, absolutely fantastical, guys. So with that being said. Don't give up on a doge. I'm absolutely certain that that cryptocurrency is going to be going up, up, up. This is just a bit of a fake out, guys. It's to scare all of the retailers out there. We're seeing that you know the amount of Bitcoin that's being hodled uh, is, is is going up. The amount of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies flowing off exchanges into private hands is going up, guys. We also had. Uh, you know, Michael Saylor out there, uh, he's aping into, he's aping into the, the Bitcoin. He just bought a ton of more Bitcoin. We talk, uh, Do Kwan from Luna Labs just bought, uh, you know, $230 million of, the, of Bitcoin. So these guys absolutely know something. So, you know, I'm going to be loading up on some Bitcoin tomorrow. So let's see, because I think that we're probably going to be in the $43,000 range tomorrow. So guys, I just want to say God bless you. Be humble out there. Crypto is a jungle. Remember, crypto is a zero-sum game, guys. So if you're winning, it means somebody's losing, guys. So do not panic. Remember, we are investors. We're not traders. And remember, smash the likes. Boopity boop boop the likes, guys. And don't forget to uh, say good night. God bless. Have a great day, guys. Be humble out there and uh, be safe. And uh, don't forget to hug your wife, kiss your kids, and uh, you know tell them that you love them, guys. Because you know life's too short to be uh, vitriolic and a Debbie Donald, guys. So smile. Have some positivity as you start your new day. And uh, be God-fearing out there. I love it. You love it. Let's get it, guys. Woo!